witches and wizards. Can you see me over there? I have two 3D puzzles. This one is massive. This is the Dun Dun Dunstrom ship. I don't know how to say that name. And then we have the night bus. So we'll look at the night bus first because it's probably going to be the easiest. So here we have the night bus. If you turn this way, you can sort of see there's like a little bit of an in groove. And then you've got the window, night bus, got the side of it. And you can see inside, it's got the stairs that go up, but then that section goes underneath. You have the open back window. The all destinations, nothing underwater. It has 73 pieces all up. And it's kind of made of like a cardstock paper stuff. You can get this off a website called Catch for about $30. It is about 23.8 centimeters high and 31.8 long. And then this way is 12 centimeters. But that is the night bus. I will put up a picture of what the pieces come like picture of the box and all that at the end of this video. And here we have the Doomstrung strung ship. God, I can't say these words. Dumbstrung? I can't remember. This one was a very big one to do. See all of that detail in there. Very small, time consuming pieces. Anchor hanging off there. Especially these ropey bits because I'm constantly worried I was going to break them. It had 207 pieces. It's also made as the same as the night bus, um, the card stock. These bits are kind of like a hard paper. Here's the front of it. You can see down into there. You don't need any glue on either of these. They just clip in to spots. See those little little knobby things there? That's how they just clip into everything. Those bits were hard as you can see on that one. Kind of made a bit of a crease trying to get it in. You can get this one from Catch as well for $50. It has a little stand, otherwise it will not stand up. It is 50.9 centimetres high, 40 centimetres long and 13.9 centimetres wide. Very big, very time consuming, but very, very awesome once it's done. I do apologise if you see any dust. They are not very easy to clean because I'm constantly fearing that I'm going to knock it and not be able to put it back together. So they are my two 3D puzzles, my two new ones. I have been looking at some other ones to get so when I do I will go back to the way I did them before where I'll take a photo each time I build it so that way you can see it get built. I just forgot to do this with these ones. I was just so excited that I decided to do them without the camera. But that is okay because I will leave links down below so that you guys can go and get them yourself. 
and they're very fun to make. This bit here as well, very hard to put on. Got a few creases here and there, trying to squeeze them in. But it is a very, very nice addition to all my shelves. These ones are Wizarding World ones. There are some that are more like a sponge kind of um, pieces. They're Wibbits? I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put a link to that below too. They have other ones as well you can do, but these ones are more like a cardboardy one. So that's about it. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up, tick that bell and subscribe will be much appreciated. There will be more videos coming soon. Like I said in a previous one, I am getting loot boxes again, so that should be fun. And we'll have fun opening them together. So until next time, keep that magic flowing. Bye guys.